As the Mets hit the field today down in Port St. Lucie for the first full squad spring training workout, baseball is just around the corner. Warmer weather, too, even though we cannot complain about this winter. It's the right of spring for all baseball fans. For the Mets, they are clearly looking to put the disappointment and the disappointing finish to last season behind them, where they failed to win the National League East and were eliminated by the Padres in the wild card round in the National League. They have a new ace in Justin Verlander to pair with the incumbent Max Scherzer as Jacob deGrom is now a Texas Ranger, a retooled bullpen anchored by one of the best closers in all of Major League Baseball and Edwin Diaz, a lineup that might be a bat short to begin the season, but when healthy, a year ago was plenty productive with Pete Alonso, Francisco Lindor, Starling Marte, and Brandon Nimmo, just to name a few. They also have an owner in Steve Cohen that has shown that money is not an issue and is willing to spend in order to try and ensure victory. Last year's bitter ending to the season is a motivating factor, and it should be. The Mets have not won a World Series since 1986. They have a manager in Buck Showalter that has had a great career but has been defined by regular season success, not that of the fall. Major League Baseball is a long season, 162 games in duration. The Mets are not the most complete team to open up camp, but they don't need to be. They need to be the best when it counts the most. Come October in the fall in the playoffs, the motivation is there from top to bottom. Fan base is starving for a winner, and just maybe the way it all ended a year ago is exactly what this organization needed to put them over the top. It is a time for every baseball fan to be hopeful about their team. For the Mets fans, there's a lot to be hopeful about. It is great that baseball is back. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.